I am sitting here with my number nominated friend, Audrey Chirinji. How was this weekend? It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, did you it? feel important? I did, actually. Oh, because it. it was all about nominees, nominees yes. with our own special seating. Yes. And, you know, even the speeches, it was like we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these nominees. Yes. Who created art. Yeah, of course. And you looked gorgeous, too. Thank you. Man, I'm proud of you. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so proud I of you. I appreciate the support, Mwah. team. Okay, so, Careerthon. Yes. So today we're talking about a book uh, by Shalene Prazen Chikomo. Yeah. So I met this young man, I think three weeks ago when he was around here. He's based in Rwanda mm. and he's very passionate uh, about what he does. But now reading his book, you know, at some point he actually dropped out of school mm. because um, his parents couldn't afford the fees. His dad was sick and then his grandma is the one who was now actually looking after them. Mm. So he says in that moment, you know, the other people will be in the rural areas. You know how it is. You haven't gone to school. You're in the fields trying to look for some grain. Yeah. And then you meet your counterparts. They're coming back from school. Yeah. And they're actually jeering at him. And he says his grandmother turned to him and told him that, you know what, my grandson, there's more to education of the, you know, the formal system, mm. there's also the entrepreneurship side of mm. education. Mm. And there's some lessons that you can only really learn in life. Experiences that you go through, the things that you have to navigate, teach you sometimes a whole lot more than a classroom ever can. Definitely. And, you know, his story is so amazing because he went on to go to school mm. and he got 20 points at wow. A level, wow. you know, for the four subjects. Went on to do his uh, university degree, and now he's actually doing a master's at UCT. You know the Mandela sponsored. Mm. Uh, he's actually doing it. He started just recently. So wow. you find that this is a story of resilience, mm. of someone who's preaching what they've actually lived, mm. which is very relatable. Wow. Um, so careerathon. That sounds very interesting. What is he? What is he tackling in this book? So he's talking about. There's always a gap between high school, university, and then the real world. Mm. So more often, you know, people are not uh, taught about what to expect when they get to the real world, the corporate world. So you find that I know some schools and even some private schools, they've got career guidance, they've got a whole department sets for that, mm. but other schools is actually not there. Mm. So you find that, like him, he says after he got his 20 points, his former headmistress called him to his old school, and the other students, when they saw him, 20 points, it's like, oh, wow, he's now living the life and everything mm. else. But he says he wasn't. Yeah. He was still the same person going through the same issues because he hadn't been prepared for that. Mm. So that's why he wrote this book to try and teach. So this is for the student, it's for the teachers, it's for the educators. Everyone was involved in this process mm. to try and guide them so that they can teach the student, how mm. to navigate. Oh, wow. I, you know, I love that because there is that little space after you're done with school where you're like, okay, um, am I ready for life? Like, you, you, you don't feel equipped to actually go out there. And there's a lot of things that then happen that can either demoralize you or motivate you, um, depending, of course, on how your mindset is. So I think this also would be a really good tool in, in shaping you towards motivation instead of demoralization, don't you think? Definitely. So while we're waiting to go on the show, someone actually mentioned that uh, there's a degree called anthropology. Mm. So I was like, oh, what, what is that? And I had to go and Google it. And yeah. this is a degree whereby you're looking at the culture and the norms of how people were, you know, like your homo sapiens and all that. Mm. So it's focusing on that. Mm. So the question around the table was, so what do you do after doing such a degree? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? Exactly. And we had no answer. So I Historian think... Historian maybe? Yes, definitely. Teacher? Yes, definitely. But then the, the, the question was... Um, more often for parents, you know, you've taken your child through school, you've paid so much fees, they must go to university. So you find that maybe she's got 10 points, mm. uh, you, you're given three options, which you don't even want. Mm. But the pressure is you now... You, you now have to go to university and I could invest. So people are stuck in degrees, courses that they don't want, mm. and then they end up being stuck in careers that, that they, they don't, don't want. want. And we're always joking, that's why you've got a lot of grumpy people out <laughs> there in the, in the corporate world. Because <laughs> that, that was not their plan A at all. You exactly. Know? I hear you, I hear you. So who's reading this again? 
I think this book, uh, students should read this book uh, as early as high school, even primary school. Because mm. I think even as parents, uh, stakeholders, the job that we have is, if you look at the developed world, as early as ECD, mm. teachers can identify that this child likes public speaking, mm. this one likes sports. And as much as they concentrate on the academics, they also now concentrate on the extracurricular right. activities. Right. Someone will go through school knowing that their career path is likely going to be in sports mm. or sports management. Mm. So we need to, to also do that here. And then so the educators, university level, professors, parents, stakeholders must read this book. Okay, where do we get it? This book is available at, uh, he's got two places here, Recruit Large and Go Formal Solutions at Cape Center, 4th and 6th floor, respectively. Okay. All right. So we are getting our hands on this. If you have teenagers, if you have kids in school, and you're trying to help them figure out who they want to become, this is one of your resources. This will be a great tool for you. It is Careerathon, um, Mastering the School to Marketplace Transition um, by Shalin Prazin Chikomo. Audrey? Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Konapo Konapo. Ipapo Ipapo Pazetian Prime. DSTV Channel 294.